Well, you know, making a holiday gift for yourself doesn't, or not for yourself, but making it yourself doesn't really have to be too complicated. Mary Jo is in our Studio C, and she's uh, picking up a few easy-to-do ideas, right? That's right, Dina. I'm here with Lisa Briggs. She is a holiday buyer with the Bruce Company, and if I can do these things, then anyone should be able to do them. So, Lisa, <laughs> oh, give thanks. yourself a little credit. <laughs> well, thanks so much for sticking around. Okay, so we've done a fairy garden, chocolate oh, bark, and now this is... This is the aromatherapy portion of the, se of the segments. Okay, good. So this is a super easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. This is, um, you know, you buy fancy bath salts at the store, and they're really expensive. They're really easy to make. Okay. So this is kosher salt and a couple handfuls, we'll say two cups of Epsom salts. Mm -hmm. And you mix that together. And then I have, this is... Um, calendula petals. It's oh. a type of marigold. I like to put a little bit of something herbaceous in there. Mm -hmm. These have lavender. Okay. And then you just take essential oils. You can get these at a lot of places. This is peppermint, which is really good for de-stressing. And then you just shake a bunch of this. And you kind of just eyeball yeah. how much you want to put in. Yep. And then you just mix it up. You that peppermint it. is very strong. I love yeah, the I peppermint. Know the peppermint is really strong. And if you, you can put more in if you're not if it doesn't smell quite right. Mm -hmm. And then you just get these snazzy plastic bags. And you just got that from a local like, candy shop. Vanilla bean okay. on, on uh, Odana Road. And then I just pour it in there till it gets a good, you know, a good amount. And mm -hmm. then tie it shut with a little twist tie, put a bow. Again, like a little so ornament. Limited. Yeah, so very cute, costs like pennies. Mm -hmm. Seriously. And they don't have to know that. No, nobody has to know that because your time is priceless. Mm -hmm. And it's so a thought that counts. It's a thought that counts. Oh. And then you just, this is probably good for two or three baths. Oh, okay. So very nice. Great. Okay, so then aside from the bath salts, we have the recipe. Yes, this well, is something that my mother-in-law did for my husband and all his brothers and sisters about 10 years ago and before she was computer savvy. <laughs> and so these are just family recipes that she typed up things that they made when they were kids and she put a note in here. Oh, so now that we're a little more tech savvy, you can print these on your computer and then um, just put them, on the, the photo corners are coming out, just put them in with photo corners or glue them into a notebook. You mm -hmm. can write notes, you could illustrate them. Mm -hmm. And you were saying earlier that you have out of it kind of after the fact that you laminating it would be yes, nice Yes, I think too. that would be fun. I think I'm going to take these out and laminate them so that then if you drip down them, you could clean them off. So they'll last a long time. Yes. And then this is just sort of a do-it-yourself kit. So this is sort of part culinary, part aromatherapy. This is a little kit to make a window herb garden. Mm -hmm. So we have these really cool sort of eco pots. They're made out of recycled materials, out of rice hulls. And, and some soil. Some soil, a bag of soil, uh, seeds for a herb garden, and this so snazzy little basket. Perfect for the gardener. Yes, all you right. could put them on your windowsill for the holidays. Great. Well, this was all fantastic, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us all morning. Oh, it was a pleasure. Great. Okay, so of course you can check out all of these segments coming up on uh, channel3000.com later this morning. Okay, so. good. Thanks a lot, Mary Jo. Mm -hmm.